Hello everyone. <sighs> My name is Amanda Waldhart and you are here um, at amandasinspirationstation.com and it is our weekly Wednesday. And beginning in the first Wednesday of October, there are 12 Wednesdays until Christmas. So we are here with our 12 Wednesdays before Christmas which I promised all little Christmas things, either treats or cards or containers, all kinds of fun little things. So I am not gonna disappoint because I have two fabulous projects to show you today. You may have seen these before, but we are gonna go step-by-step step through on how to make them, okay? So first of all, we have this little like three by three holder and it actually holds um, a post-it note like a pack of post-it notes. I think these are super cute because they are great to give maybe your coworker and put it on their desk. Um, they're just great to give teachers. I mean, who doesn't use a post-it note? I know that I do, and if you don't, I, I don't know if I envy you or if I feel bad for you because I love post-it notes. <laughs> but... I do use post-it notes to remind me of everything because I'm, you know, getting up there. I'm still young. I'm in my 40s. I just had a birthday on Friday, and I don't care. I'll share my age. I just turned 46, um, but I'm still young, but I'm still getting to that point where I'm getting forgetful, and I have to write down to-do lists, and, you know, I'll start saying something in the middle of the sentence. I forget what I'm saying, so... Post-it notes, perfect. So we are going to go ahead and we are going to make this cute, adorable little post-it note holder. And then the other thing that we're gonna do is have you guys seen these? They are made um, extra gum and they are big containers and we're gonna turn this fabulous little gum holder into a little gift. And we're gonna turn it into this. And then inside, is your gum, except for my paper just fell out. Ah, there we go, is your gum. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn you guys down and we're gonna go ahead and get started. All right, let's get started first. You know what, I'm gonna turn this off because it looks like that, there we go. We had a big, huge glare on there. We don't want that. So let's get started first. We're gonna go ahead and we're going to do the um, little holder. Now, I live in, um, southern Wisconsin and so I um, I do a lot of my shopping at Woodman's a grocery store shopping and so I get these little post-it notes here and they're like a dollar nineteen um, I know post-its can be pricey so if you're planning on making a bunch of these you might want to look into something like this I know Target has an off-brand of post-it notes that are actually really good um, Otherwise, maybe you can look into Amazon too. But we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open this up. I just, I wanted to show you that because that's the brand that I got. I'm gonna throw that away. And I'm actually gonna bring out, um, instead of me already having it cut and scored, I actually have some of it cut. Um, so I wanted to bring it out so that I can show you just how easy this is, okay? So for the post-it note, you are going to need a six and a half piece by three. Now I have this already cut at three, but we're going to go ahead and cut it at six and a half. So I'm going to take it up here and I'm going to cut it right here at six and a half. Okay, so this is just an extra piece. We're going to set that aside. Now you want to score it at three and you want to score it at three and a half. Okay, that's easy. That's it. That's all you do. You have, you have your score lines here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get out my bone folder and I'm just going to go over my score lines here just like this, all right? Now, I'm gonna get out my tear and tape because I am going to put tear and tape on the back of my um, post-it notes. So we're just gonna go like this and we're just gonna go like this and you know what, for good measure, I'm gonna put one in the middle. All right, so. Now I'm gonna just peel these off. Those peeled off pretty easy. Now make sure that your post-it notes are the right way. You don't wanna you know, attach this and have them be on the upside down or the wrong way. So I have them attached, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just set it in there. Voila, there. Now we have our holder for our post-it notes, okay? 
Now we want to decorate the top, okay? So let's bring out the one that we're doing. And I have a piece of designer series paper that is part of the Snowflake Splenda, I believe is what that designer series paper is called. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply this on after I find my adhesive here. There we go. Now this piece right here will measure at two and three fourths by two and three fourths. It's just a perfect square, all right? So we have that. Now I have my um, punch here and this is the Label Me Lovely Punch and I am going to use Purple Posy and I'm just going to punch one out here, okay? And then we're gonna use our heartfelt hearts too because we need a Whisper White Heart. Um, I don't know if you guys ever noticed, but you, some people just go straight in, but I like to go in at the corners. I don't know why, it's just something I like to do. And there you go, it's weird. It doesn't have to be, it's just why I do it, I don't know. <laughs> As you can see my scrap paper, I just, I don't know why I do that, but I do. This is Misty Moonlight. All right, so that out of our way. Now we have our pieces, okay? So we are going to definitely use some dimensionals here. So I'm going to pop up, if I can get my dimensionals off there, there we go. I'm definitely going to pop up this Label Me Lovely piece. Now I do wanna put it in the center, but I wanna make sure that I have enough room on the left side to put our ribbon. So I may just kind of make it over just a tiny bit. I'm really gonna give this some dimension. Um, I, I wanna give it some height. So I'm now going to pop up this as well, the heart, the scallop heart, and I'm going to place that over top. Now before I do this, we do need to stamp. So we are going to need our Misty Moonlight ink pad. And the stamp set that we're using today is the Little Treats. Um, so we're using the little treats. And then this one here is um, especially for you. This is a great stamp set, you guys. This has a lot of nice sayings in it. Um, and it's just a great stamp set. So we're going to use the especially for you. So let's open that up. Let's put that on. Stamp. Perfect. Now I am going to put on a little gem. And we're going to use the, um, I can't think of the name of these gems. Hmm. Let me see if I have an extra pack because I can't think of the name of them. Um, no, I don't. But they're in the big book, big book, um, annual catalog. So I cannot for the life of me think of them. I'm sure somebody out there is watching this is like, I know what it is. I wish I could hear you through the recording. All right, so I went ahead and I put dimensionals on the back of my Whisper White heart, and I'm gonna pop that up too. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a big one of these gems, and I'm just gonna kind of put it up onto the right corner, okay? Now I need a bow, so I'm gonna get out my bow maker because I am a terrible bow maker unless I have a bow maker. I know some people, I say this every time, but it's true. The people who can do this with a fork impress me because <laughs> I just, I, I, I can't, I can't do it. All right, so get that out of the way. So now we have that. We are gonna need our mini glue dots because we're gonna put this on sideways here. And we're gonna get a mini glue dot right there. And then we're just gonna put it on sideways. And if it hangs over, that's okay. You're just gonna trim it on the edge here. Trim it on the edge. I like to trim it with an angle. Um, I just think it looks prettier with an angle. And there we go. And voila. See how easy that was? Not hard at all. So I definitely, super easy. Now granted this one is you know, kind of an everyday gift. You could definitely make these with Christmas paper. You can make these with any kind of paper. 
but that is the little notebooks, the little post-it notes. All right, so let's move on to our gum holder. And first of all, I need to open this. That would be helpful, but I, I wasn't sure if once I opened it, if, oh yeah, it does show that. All right, so this is what I'm going to show you. I'm gonna start all of this from scratch here. So see how it has the extra in here? Um, they're like logo thing. We don't want that. We wanna take that out. So you're going to take this entire thing out, okay? But don't rip this, because you're gonna use this as your pattern, okay? So we're going to carefully take the gum out, which I see um, this one, okay. Came a little different than my last one. My last one didn't look like this at all. I'll show you what my last one looked like. My last one came out and looked just like this, which you still will use as a pattern because it's still the same size, um, but you don't need these little flaps, so you could just fold that, but that's okay. All right, so you, I'm going to use this as the pattern to how to make it, and you can keep it. I did write on the back the measurements. So you need a five and three-fourths piece by four. So I went ahead and I did that already, okay? And basically what you're going to do then is you're going to score it at two and three-fourths. So let's get out my little score. Let's move the gum here. I think I'm missing a, a notch though. Hold on a second. See this? Hold on. I want to make sure that I have this right. I know I'm on the big camera today, but okay. So we're going to, you know what? Let's kind of mark this right here so you guys can even see it. So there's their score line. And then I feel like I can't see. There we go. There's the second score line. So it's at, okay, so give me a second here. So we are going to score this at, and what did I say that was? Two and, that's, you know what, good thing we didn't do that because that's not right. Good Lord. All right, so I'm going to go by this one because they are the same size. So you're going to score it at three. Yep, three, and then you're going to score it again at three. Let's see here. I don't know what that notch is because I never can remember it. I always have to look at the, I have a, like a pitcher. So it's the two notches after the three and a half, um, which is some sort of seven eighths, I think. But we're just going to go like this, and I'm going to go like this because I don't have that picture on there. All right. So, yep, that's me. I don't, I have, I, when it gets into the whole seven eighths and one and sixteenths and all that, I have a picture that I have to look at on the ruler because. I'm terrible at it, and I will just openly admit it. I, I get forgetful, and I just can't do it. I, I don't remember all of it. All right, past that, some people can remember all their measurements. I am not one of them. Okay, so I actually want this side, not this side. So let me go ahead and, although this side would be cute too, we could do this side. But I like this side. So we're gonna now we're just gonna go ahead and we're just gonna set it in with the tall side in the back. Okay. Yeah, see this is different. Well, I wonder if this treat box is different. Oh, you guys, you know what? That's why different flavors. This one's a little bit bigger. Look at it, it's even wider on this side. Well, who knew? All right, so you know what? We will need to use this as the pattern. Because who knew that that was a little bit different? The sizes were different. I thought all the gum would be the same. Well, little did I know. That's all right. We can do this, can't we? All right, so we just need to trim off a tiny little bit. So let's trim off. So if it's at five, let's see here, five and three fourths, 
Let's make it at five and a half. That's what we're gonna do. So, yes, this one was a little different. Who knew? Five and a half, okay. Good thing that I am teaching you guys to actually use this as the pattern because they're not all the same. There. There we go. All right. So, yes, you're going to want to do it at five and a half. I'm sorry. So, it's five and a half by four with the blue one, the peppermint. But if you're doing it with the spearmint, the container is a little bit different. And I guess it dep I mean, I guess, I don't know. I would always keep this, and then you can use that as your, you know, your pattern. Good thing I was teaching you guys to do that as your pattern, huh? My goodness. All right. Good, good to know. Good to know. Okay. So let's put this gum. I got two pieces in the back, all the way back. See now, and with this spearmint one, all the gum came wrapped like this. I didn't have any loose pieces like that. So maybe it just depends on the flavor or maybe this was like, maybe one's older than the other. Who knows? But we now have our container inside and our gum inside. So that works. All right. Now the piece that you're going to need, this and hopefully is the right size, measures at four and one and a fourth. And what I did is I want this side to be my outside. So I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to stick my two index fingers in and I'm going to just kind of curl it. I don't want to bend, bend the paper. Like I don't want a score line in it. I just kind of want to curl it. So that's why I'm curling it with my um, index fingers. And then I'm just going to set this inside. And there is like a little tiny like... Um, I don't know what you want to call it, like a lip, like a little, and then I just bring it down so it gets stuck on that. There you go. Okay, perfect. All right, we got this, don't we? All right, so we are going to need ribbon, which I am using the polka dot tool ribbon, and then we are going to use the So Many Snowflakes um, dies. These are the two dies that I have chosen. We're going to do the big one in the um, purple posy. And then we're going to do, which I don't need that much. Then we're going to do um, the littler one in our balmy blue. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring out my cut and emboss machine. So I'll bring that out here. And we have the plates. Let's get the plates all ready. So to use dies, you need plate one, plate two, plate three. Then you will put your project on plate three. So we're gonna run both of them through at the same time. Then you need your second plate three to place over top and you're just gonna run it through. All right. There we go. So we'll get that out of the way. All right. So we need to pop this out very gently because we don't want to rip any of our snowflakes. And there are a few little pieces inside here that we're going to take our little tool and poke them out. All right. There we go. And we can go ahead and set our dies, set them aside. Now I have a piece of scrap Whisper White. Um, and we're going to, again, using the Little Treat stamp set, we are now going to do a little treat for someone sweet. And I'm just going to kind of place that in the center there. Because now we're going to use our punch. And we are going to use our one and a half inch circle punch. And we're just going to pop that out like that. All right. All right. So now before we put this on, we want to wrap our tooling, our ribbon. So what I just did is I just laid out the ribbon flat like this, placed it across like this. And then I'm going to make sure that I have, I would say about three inches on the side here. That's what I would, that's how I would do it. Okay. So now we're going to tie it in a bow 
What's nice about this tooling is this tooling is easy to tie in a bow. I am not a bow tire, but this tooling makes it easy. All right, so there's our bow, okay? Now, we are going to attach this, the big snowflake that's in the purple posy. We're just gonna attach it from the center with a mini glue dot. And I am going to put it right on top though of the tooling that way it helps to just kind of hold it in place. I'm going to do the same thing with this one, but now I'm going to like kind of turn it off like that. There we go. Now, I don't want to see my center of my glue dot, so I'm going to use another one of these big, clear gems. I think they're elegant gems or something like that. I really can't remember. And then with this one, I am going to use dimensionals. And I'm just gonna put two on the side here. And I'm just gonna kinda of tuck it under just a little bit. Actually, you know what? I wanna make sure that, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put four on here. I know that seems a bit excessive for a circle punch that's only one um, and a half inch, but I wanna make sure that I'm putting it over the ribbon to hold that ribbon. And I do wanna tuck it kinda of underneath my snowflake like that, cause I kinda of want the snowflake to go over. There. There. Okay, that was, that was not hard. I feel like I made it a little harder because I didn't realize that the case was a little bit different in size, but that's okay. Honestly, if you use the insert as your template, you're golden. You're just, you're golden. So you just need to use your, use it as a template. Yeah. Cause see, look at even this. Well, here I'll put this cause this is bigger. So this one was longer than this one, but that's okay. We, we have it figured out. Don't we? Cause we're smart cookies, aren't we? Yes, we are. All right. So here is your weekly Wednesday. This time you have two little great gifts um, to give somebody. And I will have listed below in my blog, which is amandasinspirationstation.com. If you guys want, um, if you guys want to make these, um, I will have all the measurements and everything also listed in my blog for you. Um, but I will put in a little exception of be careful. <laughs> Use the pattern for the um, the gum holder. So, all right. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's Weekly Wednesday. I feel like I'm kind of all over the board right now. Like I just drank a Monster or something. I did not drink a Monster. And I only had one cup of coffee. Here. I only had one cup of coffee this morning, I swear. But um, I probably, I don't know. You know, sometimes we just have these days. And this is one of my days. So, But I do love how they turned out. So they're super cute. Again, you can make them in Christmas. You can make them for holidays. They're just cute little gifts to give somebody. So there's that. All right. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Have great rest of your week. I know this weekend is Halloween. Um, so be safe if you have kids. Hope you get to somewhat enjoy it. I know COVID kind of ruins things for people. But anyway, have a great day. Bye.